It's a place of loneliness, defeat. It was a very dark place. I was 27 years old and felt like I had lived a whole life and I was done. I remember my own D-Day when my husband got caught in a lie. My heart has, has walked similar roads. At the beginning, there was no hope. I felt like he was just dying, like his heart was dying. The secret life unraveled. There's no one and no thing and no situation that is beyond redemption, and I've lived that personally. When people come for intensive counseling, there's usually one of two things that are happening. There's either some kind of crisis because of a loss, because of a recent betrayal. Oftentimes, there is the exposure of an addiction. I had developed an addiction to pornography, and I was found out. Or, in the other case, there's a hunger that they want more out of life. They were looking for a youth pastor, and they hired Jonathan. And it ended up leading me to a place where the exhaustion and depression just kept deepening. I had to face my wife, seeing tears of pain coming from her eyes. I remember crying myself to sleep at night, waking up every morning, realizing the nightmare was real. I've walked that journey myself. I've had to recover my own heart, recover my own sexuality, recover my own marriage. We were separated for over a month. I just noticed him starting to shut down. I felt my life was in need of intensive care. We are a kind of emergency room for the soul. I get to be a much-needed companion and confidant to wives who join their husband in coming out for an intensive. Intensive counseling is meeting with one of our counselors for three hours a day, Monday through Friday, for one or two weeks. I hadn't had tears for many years, and they started to unlock, and something in my heart began to open. By opening the door that I had kept locked, for so many years. It allowed me to search in the middle of the shame and start connecting with my heart. It plummeted us to deep places, um, more intimacy than we've ever known. It radically changed the entire direction of our lives. My life now is a life of freedom. I have an amazing marriage. I would have never imagined that that would lead me down the path of becoming a therapist and doing intensive counseling with individuals and couples. Being used by God to enter people's lives in ways that are transforming their stories is unbelievable. Restoring the soul is not about sin management. Restoring the soul is about restoration and transformation of the soul. Hope passion, desire, how do we find that in your life? By not just stopping a behavior, but finding freedom to live life differently. To see a person come in who is dead and to leave full of hope and life. I can't imagine doing anything else with my life. Redemption and restoration is possible.